Good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another biology presentation. So right here with me, I have a question that is coming from biology paper 2. And this question is coming from the topic called um, sexual re uh, reproduction in flowering plants. So the question reads, figure 14.2 shows a bee on a longitudinal section of a flower. So this is the figure right here. So this figure is showing a bee. This is a bee right here which is on this section of a flower. So this flower is uh, labeled with the structures X, uh, Y, and Z. So let us look at question 1A. On figure 14.2, label X, Y, and Z. So it's carrying three marks. So what are the names of uh, these structures? So X, X right here. These are called the petals. Okay. So these are the petals. Then we also have um, this structure, the body. These are called the anthers. Okay. And then we also have um, we also have the structure rebot Z right there, which is called the stigma. Okay which is called the stigma. So, these are the names of these structures. So, we have answered our question E, A1. Let us now move on to our question A2. What is the function of the structure Y? So, the structure Y is the, the anthers. This is the structure Y. So, the anthers, these are the male reproductive organs, and their main function is just to produce pollen grains. So, we have said uh, for A2, we have said the structure, the structure Y produces, produces pollen grains. So, this is uh, the function of the structure of body Y, which is the anthers okay so these are the male reproductive system that produces pollen grains and these pollen grains are being transferred from the anthers to the stigma through the process called D, uh, pollination all right so i hope that we are moving together we've come to question b how does the plant benefit from being visited by the bee so, how does the plant benefit by being visited by the bee? It was just carrying one mark. So, this fl uh, flower was being visited by this bee. So, how can a plant benefit by being visited by the bee? So, the plant um, is going to benefit with what we call cross-pollination. Okay? So, what is cross-pollination? How does it happen? This will happen in such a way that this bee that you are seeing, uh, it will move from, it will carry the pollen grains from a different uh, flower. So on its far, it's going to, the pollen grains are going to stick on the body of the, the bee. So once it moves from one flower, it will come to this flower. And those pollen grains that are stuck on its body, they are going to be, uh, they are going to be sticky on the stigma on this flower. Okay, and this will help the flower to benefit with the cross pollination. Okay, that is the answer there. All right, so on question B, we have said, um, how does the plant benefit from being visited by the bee? So we have said the plant uh, benefits. The plant benefits uh, with cross pollination. The plant benefits with cross pollination uh, because because the bee because the bee because the bee may bring 
the pollen the bee may bring the pollen on its body the bee may bring the pollen on its body uh, that I hope we are able to see what I'm writing under those okay uh, the bee may bring the pollen on its body uh, that it that it have that it has carried from from another flower so this is how a plant can benefit by being visited by the bee the plant benefits with cross pollination because the bee may bring the pollination the pollen grains yeah so here is supposed to be the word grains pollen grains on its body that it has carried from another flower so we've come to the end of our lesson